Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com, here to talk to you today about how to care for your mojo bag. I'm not going to tell you the right way. I'm not going to tell you the only way. I'm going to speak to you about the way that works for me from my experience. When you receive your mojo bag from your practitioner, it will already be activated. It will have life breathed into it. It will be a spirit in and of itself working in a microcosm on your behalf. It will be magically charged. It will be working for you already. Typically, it's advisable that you do not open your mojo bag once it is activated and created. However, your practitioner may send you your mojo bag so that you may add DNA to it. In this case, it will be tied rather loosely. You will be able to open it up and add some of your DNA in order to enhance the magical and energetic link between you and the mojo bag. What would be recommended would be some nail clippings or some hair. In this case, you will then want to tie it up very securely. You will want to knot it, and as you knot it, each time that you strengthen and pull that knot closed, you should be thinking about strengthening the magic of the mojo bag, strengthening and sealing the magic of the mojo bag, strengthening and sealing the magic of the mojo bag. You can then hold it in your hand, hold it in your left hand, with your right hand over the top of it and pray over it, speak to it, tell it what you need, ask it to assist you and send it gratitude for the work that it will be doing on your behalf. After this, you can carry your mojo bag with you everywhere that you go or you can put it in a location that is correspondent to the energy that you are drawing into your life, such as if it's for protection, you could put, place it in your car for protection while driving. You could place it by your front door for protection of your home. If it's for protection of your body, you would carry it on yourself. If it is for bringing money, abundance, and prosperity into your life, you may want to hide it somewhere in your kitchen. If it is for bringing passion and love into your life, you may want to place it beneath your mattress, and so forth. At this time, you will no longer open your mojo bag. However, periodically you will want to feed your mojo bag. Feeding your mojo bag means that you are providing it with extra energy to strengthen it and fortify it over time so that it can continue to work on your behalf. You can feed your mojo bag with some spiritual oil. Spiritual oil which is correspondent to your goal. In order to do this, it may be beneficial not to get your bag all gummy. So instead, you can either rub the oil on your hands or you can put a few drops in the palm of your hand and then place the bag in that oil, hold it in your hands, and focus on your goal. You can imagine your goal, you can say an affirmation, you can say a prayer, you can speak to the bag, you can visualize, you can do whatever works for you. The point is to reactivate the power of that bag and to focus once again on strengthening your connection to that bag and the connection you have to that goal, the connection you have to the energy you are drawing into your life with that bag for the purposes of your goal. You can work with your mojo bag according to the moon phase, meaning that you can reactivate or feed your bag during a particular moon phase. So if your bag was for love, for example, you could feed it on the full moon. If it was for protection, you could feed it on the wanting moon. If it was for drawing money into your life, you can feed it during the waxing moon. If it's for purification, you can feed it during the wanting moon and so forth. Another way that you could feed your bag or reactivate your bag is by placing it on your altar, surrounding it with candles or placing it by one candle and perhaps giving it a smoke fumigation and saying some prayers over your altar while you do so. 
Feeding your bag should never consist of giving it a blood offering. Uh, you do not want to give spirits an offering of blood. You don't want to feed it yourself. You want to feed it energy, but not of yourself. So oils, smokes, flames, and so forth are the best way to feed your bag. Eventually, your bag may die. You will know that your bag has run the course of its life when you no longer feel the same energy from it. You will know intuitively through your intuition or through your spiritual connection or through the energy that you feel from the bag. At that time, it's acceptable to leave the bag as an offering. It's acceptable to bury the bag. It's acceptable to lay the bag to rest with a prayer of gratitude for that bag. I hope this helps with working with your mojo bag. I'm wishing you many blessings.